everyone welcome back to style and glamour by oika i know it's been really long since i have made a video and i am extremely extremely sorry for that but your girl was really busy in her work so right now i am free and i thought why not make a video and yes i have some amazing products here with me right now which i really wanted to show you guys but somehow due to some circumstances i forgot to show you and way long back is when there was a huge black friday sale going on so most you can you can say most probably it was last year that i bought these products also you can see uh, there's a new setup here and i've got my new backdrop and some new lights some new goodies for my uh, filming so you can see my filming setup has upgraded a bit so if you guys are interested to see my filming setup do let me know in the comments down below without further ado let's get right into the video but before getting into the video make sure that you like share and subscribe to this channel if you're subscribing to my channel you're going to get notified whenever i post uh, any upcoming videos so yeah so these here are the products that i was talking about right now and i am pretty excited for these so these are some of the jeffree star uh, palettes and many products i had bought but mostly i bought palettes to be honest because for in my bucket list for the longest that i recall um because um jeffree star is very hard uh, to get in india and right now many people are selling it so that's the reason i got this due to them so firstly thanks a lot to international makeup for sending this even though it was late i am really 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 excited for these goodies here and uh, i cannot contain my happiness so you cannot say my dress makeup is not completely based on jeffree star as you can see i have already done my base so i want to try out some of their products so okay so this one is not jeffree star this is natasha denona base palette basically so this contains a highlighter highlighting products and contouring products in this so we are going to try this baby out so let me like show you the packaging then you open it from here when you open inside is a pink light pink box so like so natasha denona return here and yeah let's see this packaging is so cool you are like you can see straight up this has these holographic or uh, stuff going on the diamond and blush is written in holographic that is so cool you all literally so amazing and then you open it like this there's a mirror for sure a nice full size mirror you all this is so cool. what it is when you open this cover there's a cover for this cause these shades are creamy shades okay so this is a highlighter which is duo glow <gasps> so pretty it's so pretty so this is a highlighter duo glow then this is a cream blush so pretty you all you have to see this so nice i will show you the detailed swatches 
right after I swatch on my hands and this is a cream or uh, glow cream base for your contour this is a contouring product let me like quickly swatch for you very sure maybe it would be visible on my face <laughs> guys I am really bad at swatching so I'll just quickly swatch these products on my arm so this is the cream highlighter then the cream blusher cream bronzer and then same goes with this this is the next to it is the powder uh, bronzer slash highlighter because for some people this would be great as a highlighter then a very soft pink blusher and a diamond highlighter so pretty I don't know if the camera is doing the justice but I am trying to show you guys how pretty it looks this is insane and Natasha Denona palettes are basically known for uh, being really natural yet really uh, pigmented I don't know the I don't know how to explain but you're gonna see that so I'm just taking this brush and this with this just lightly tapping and you guys are gonna see one tap one swirl now we're going the other side straight up the back I love it we're going a bit on our products and just on we are normally going to top up with the powder products okay so this was the cream highlighter as you can see I think I can just go with this as it is but I'm gonna Morphe M173 and going in with the clean cream blush What on earth is this? This is so cool. And sorry, I don't have proper brushes here. Some of the brushes are for washing. So so use a finger and if you think it's a lot then go on top with the wet sponge beauty blender that would do look at that can you straight of the back see the difference see see moving on the other side with my fingers as 
glass of powder. That's the best part of this product. I've just cleaned up and I'm going to use the same brush and I don't know how this bronzer is going to work this is a glow cream base so I don't know what exactly glow cream base is but it looks brown on the palette so I guess I'm going to apply it on the bronzing part of the face I don't think it's doing anything just it's very creamy what do you guys think? I don't know I need to work with this product a bit more not sure what this product is exactly going to do to the face. I'm gonna go with the powder blush here. So this part is done and I'm gonna go with the blush. Oh, it's a lot more pigmented. on blushes sometimes I like a good blush for a no makeup day so blush is fine wow so pretty now I am going with the glow there are two highlighters basically one is a glow extreme and another is a diamond powder so let's see first I will go with the Let's go with this one here. What? Look at that. Nice. This was a diamond powder, which is really nice. very fine uh, particles they are not chunky at all very pretty so again I'm gonna go with the glow extreme which is the other one in this palette of the back it just let me get a bit closer for a closer look straight off the back you can see it just armed the whole look wow amazing so far I really like this palette I highly recommend this if you are a, a person who likes really natural highlighters and blushers and everything so this palette is for you what do you guys think 
I mean, I really like the whole formulation of this product. So pretty. So we are going to move on to a palette of Jeffree Star, which I have never used. So let's get started. So next up is this palette. This is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. As you can see. Behind this blood sugar return, and then you open it like this, and this is the actual palette. This comes with it, so we don't need it anymore. And oh, cool! So, this is the palette. This is a, like a very sturdy box behind. And then here is here are the knobs that you open and inside is the palette. You can get a mirror. Get a mirror and this was with this. So this is how the palette looks. are so pretty and I am going to open this there's a oh, so satisfying right you get a nice big mirror with this so it's great so first I will be priming my eyes and coming back so wait up hey everyone so I have already completed this side of my face side of my eyes as you can see so this is the look that we are going to create right now and I have already primed this the other side with my usual P. Louise base in zero and we want to start so firstly I am going to start with the shade Tongue Pop which is my which would be my transition shade for this look which is this one here taking a morphe m330 brush and picking up the shade down the box and just running through my crease this was the look which i came i came up with so i didn't prepare any look for this palette to be honest so Of the transition shade. So take your time in blending. Okay, so I think I am good with this blend, and we are moving on with the shade. Cherry soda, which is this pretty red shade here. Cherry soda, and I'm changing my brush now, and I'm going in with a very smaller brush because I want to concentrate the product. This is the Morphe M431. of shape you want for your eyes just decide that do you, you prefer a rounder shape or a V shape which I have done here and then taking my blending brush again 
and just lightly blending the edges with the same brush. We want the color to disperse. We want a dispersed look. So we are concentrating on our blending again. Like so. And then going in with the same. I'm gonna change the brush now and going in with this Morphe JH39 brush and going in with the shade Fresh Meat which is a very pretty purple going in with the, with the shade Fresh Meat and again concentrating the color right in the eye socket because we want to intensify our crease so we are doing this and again going in with the blending brush if you think that the product is too much you go in with your transition shade again which was the tongue pop and run it through the edges so this is going to immediately make your eyeshadow blend easier the blending process is gonna be easier because you know usually some shades are very hard to blend so always go back and forth with your transition shade which is going to help you blend the darker shades easily look at the blend now I'm going to start cutting my crease to cut my crease I've gone with the same PUE's base on this brush which is Morphe M224 which is a flat brush and I'm just nicely coating the product on both sides of the brush and I'll start cutting my crease take your time while you cut the crease because you need the right round shape we are going to do is use the same brush that we previously used for this thing on our eye socket I'm using the same brush and whatever product is left on the brush I'm going to just run it on the line but make sure you're not coming on the white portion this process is optional but I like to make this line perfect like so GH41 brush. This is a flat brush and tongue pop. And I'm going to mix both of them on and apply it on the eyelid. So, first going in with clarity. I'm going to mix both and start applying it here. apply uh, the pop shade which we applied previously for the transition itself but I want to show you most of the shade from this palette so I'm going to upgrade to with the cavity these shades are like pretty pigmented Waterline and then again come on the crease area 
up because you can see here I haven't eaten up my cheese. For that you need to do it at the end once the look is completed. Okay, so now I'm moving on to my waterline. And for waterline, we're gonna start with I have given a hint of purple here, which looks very pretty. Um let me show you real quick. Here I use this purple. This is the shade root canal. This is the shade root canal. I have used this on the outer corner of my eyes. If you do not have this palette or if you do not have a purple eyeshadow, you can just go in with any of your eyeliner. That would do. Or if you do not have an eyeliner, you can create your customized uh, eyeshadow by mixing you know your primary shades. color up, upwards because that suits my eyes a lot like so and now we're gonna go again with all the shades that we applied here basically so we are going in with cavity down pop our transition shades and uh, again we are going with cherry soda which was the beautiful red color I'm gonna the concoction and apply it on the waterline. by the purple because once you apply you know the pinks and the reds the purple shade just disappears so we need to keep intensifying so you know we want to show that the purple is there Milano soup 
aqua color waterproof eyeliner the shade is i'm not sure what shade it is yeah zero four mascara that I'm gonna use is this from Smashbox which I got as a gift when I bought a Smashbox product and this is a travel size one this is Smashbox super fan mascara final look that I have come up with and to complete it I am going to apply a white shade from here which is glucose and top it up with candy flows so this and this This is Candy Rose. And I am going to complete it with a new lip product that too from Jeffree Star. Um, let me show you guys. This is the Jeffree Star Lip Vault here. And we have so this opens like this. Oh, these are his mini lipsticks, and you get even eight shades in this total, and all are nude. So let me see which one I should try. I think I'm gonna go a bit. video and this is the final look that I had come up with with all these Jeffree Star and Natasha Denona palette so what do you guys think 
how did you like the video do let me know in the comments down below and please 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 give me a like share and subscribe to my channel also don't forget to click the bell icon in the right so you're gonna get notified whenever i post a new video bye take care